to other stories now, Emir of Zazal, Ambassador Ahmad Nuhu Bamali has toured the line of submission of the DGNTA Malam Yakubu Ibn Mohammed in calling on Nigerians to form alliance with relevant agencies in containing threats to national security. The Emir was speaking at the 15th annual Ramadan lecture jointly organized by the NTA, FRCN and Voice of Nigeria in Kaduna. Haruna Mohammed reports. A gathering of erudite broadcasters in the month of Ramadan on the menu was a critical assessment of Nigeria's security threat and possible solutions. The Director General NTA, Yakubu Ibn Mohammed, agrees with the Emir of Zazo for the full participation of the public in supporting the entire security architecture in fighting insurgents and bandits. We've been meeting the Council of Traditional Rulers under the chairmanship of His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, and his co-chair, the Oni of Ife. We had several meetings with Mr. President, with the National Security Advisor and the Service Chiefs. And equally here in Kaduna, we had meetings with the Governor. Uh, they are not sleeping, as people are, you know, uh, perceiving. They're not sleeping, they're doing their best, only that uh, it is an overwhelming situation that uh, we we'll all have to put our hands on deck to ensure at least that uh, you know, the needful is done. We should be very vigilant and we should be very wary. We should report anything that is abnormal to the authorities, thereby making security our own business. The guest lecturer, a teacher in both Western and Islamic knowledge, put forward the Islamic perspective towards winning the war against terrorism, insurgency, and banditry. I, I ad advise and admonish people to collaborate with government and security, security agencies in making sure that we, pa we live in a peaceful nation. Also to collaborate with security agencies to fish out the bad acts among us. The 15th edition of the NTA FRCN VON Ramadan lecture also gave room for guests to ask questions which were addressed by the guest lecturer. In Kaduna, Haruna Mohammed, NTA News.